ladies and gentlemen, King Ryan Garcia made $30 million for fighting Javante Tank Davis. This is being reported by Oscar De La Hoya, Mr. Golden Boy himself, the CEO of Golden Boy Promotions, came out and made these claims. And like I said, it sent a lot of people in shockwaves and in an uproar or whatever it was. Uh, before we get into this topic, man, one thing's for sure, two things for certain. Both fighters need to be commended. They both stepped in a square circle, you know, put a lot on the line. King Ryan Garcia had a lot to lose. He could have kept doing what a lot of other fighters do. Even though the tide is shifting, he still stepped in that ring against Javante Tank Davis and put it all on the line. Right now, King Ryan Garcia is 23 wins, one loss, no draws, 19 wins. By the way, a knockout. We all know what's going on with him. He's changing up the game. He's going to be a dangerous fighter. Make sure you subscribe to Fight Sports TV for more boxing and news updates and more but like I stated Oscar De La Hoya came out and this is being reported by everybody you understand everybody in the sport of boxing is reporting this Oscar De La Hoya says Ryan Garcia made a cool 30 million for his mega fight against Javante Tank Davis on Showtime pay-per-view it also aired on the zone last April um, that's double the 15 million Ryan had rumored to have made for the tank fight. That's um, that's super big money for a fighter. Um, with people say obviously not that good experience, you know, internet sensation, you know, um, to get that kind of money and and basically to fight Javante Davis in the catch weight uh, was truly spectacular. If you've been living under a rock. Javante Tank Davis, fresh home. Shout out to Baltimore, B more. You already know what it is. 29 wins, no losses, no draws. 27 wins violently, by the way, a knockout. This man is the WBA world regular champion. And um, listen, this, this guy right here is, is a problem. Some people view him as the king of the lightweight. Some people view him as the king of boxing. And right now is a conundrum going on between him and, you know, Canelo. Who, who's the face of boxing? Who's this? Who's that? But, I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, back to the claims, you know. Um, Ryan is, like I stated before, he's has over 11 million Instagram followers, you know. Um, and they all aren't boxing fans. Um, King Ryan Garcia is obviously one of the top influencers in the sport. Um, De La Hoya revealed this information by pointing out that he's doing an excellent job of promoting the 25-year-old Ryan. And he says that he wasn't in favor of the rehydration claim, and that was in the contract for the tank fight. We all know that that was a huge conundrum, and and we heard them going back and forth after. Like, why would you why would you sign this ridiculous thing? This is a, you know, but at the end of the day, Ryan was in a tough spot because the fight was so publicized. So this. So and then, and then Tank knows he he was very cerebral in this, you know, making him take a fight that maybe he didn't necessarily want to do, but he knew his back was against the wall. He had to take this fight. He couldn't turn this down. How was he going to look his fans in the eye and say we're fighting someone else? You know what I mean? That's not that's not going to look good. We're rematching Luke Campbell. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying it's just not it's not a good, you know. But I mean, it is what it is. He put it on and he did it. And he almost, like I said, it could have ended horrible for what if Ryan Garcia would have gotten knocked out in the middle of that ring, which probably would have happened if he didn't take that knee. Um, I think that he had that prerequisite in his mind that if something go left, listen, I'm just going to take the knee. The last thing he going to do is make me, you know, turn me into a poster, you know, but it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, King Ryan Garcia and De La Hoya obviously have some issues going on. You know, he states that he has a lawsuit against Ryan Garcia because he wants him to honor his contract, which still has several years left. Um, Ryan Garcia, like I said, a, a problem. Uh, made a boatload of money and losing in the seventh round, you know, to the tank, uh, taking a knee um, after getting hit with a hard body shot. I mean, that liver shot was deadly. You know, and I think we are starting to really 
understand the, the power of these body shots. You know, you seeing a lot more fighters going to the body, and it's, it's ending fights quick, fast, in a hurry. If De La Hoya wins the lawsuit with Ryan, then the popular fighter will remain with Golden Boy Promotions for the remaining three years of his contract. De La Hoya insists that he will be promoting Ryan Garcia's next fight, but he doesn't say who and when that will be. Ryan is training in Dallas, you know, Texas, with new coach Derek James to improve his flaws. There had been talks of Ryan challenging WBA light welterweight champion Rolando Roly Romero, which will be a great fight. You know, um, I think it'll draw a lot of money. I think that Roly, you know, he came out a little lax a days ago against Barroso, but I think a guy like Ryan Garcia could bring the best out of him. Uh, we all know Roly and him. They have uh, similar records. You know, they both lost to Tank. They were undefeated. They put it all on the line. It is what it is. But that no longer appears to be a viable option. The WBA has ordered Roley to defend his um, defend his mandatory um, against uh, Omara Davies. So he, he has a different opponent. But who's to say that something else could happen? But we're going to find out what happened with Roley Romero. He better get up in there and make something happen. But... Here's more quotes from um, Oscar De La Hoya. We have a lawsuit right now. I'm not suing him for money. He's not suing me for money. I just want him to honor the contract. That's it, said De La Hoya. He said this to numerous people. Just honor the contract. You have obligations. I want you to fight. I want you to be a legend. Do you think I wanted him to fight Tank with a rehydration clause? He says, hell no. I'm looking out for him. But he has people whispering in his ear, oh, Oscar is bad. Go with TH. Go, go with the other promoter who can take care of you more. You'll make more money. Guess what, Ryan? Just made $30 million for the Javante Davis fight. I'm not doing anything wrong here. You know, um, I'm trying to create a legend. What a better person than me to guide your career, to mold you into a superstar boxer who people will respect. But all these whispers, man, all these whispers. So clearly, um, you know, they have somebody that is, you know, affecting things and affecting business. You know, Ryan just lost. And, you know, it, like I said, there's a lot of pain there. So we want to figure out how involved Oscar will be because we heard Ryan Garcia, you know, get upset, you know, about Oscar Del Hoy before in the past. But what I will say is this, Golden Boy is one of the top promoters in the game and they are putting on amazing fights. And I think that Ryan Garcia need to just think about it. Delahoy has been good to him. You know, that he lost. Let's, you know, a lot of great champions have lost. It's all about how you get back. And I'm going to leave it at that. It's Flight Sports TV. Make sure you subscribe for more boxing news updates and more.